afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Duncan Showroom, episode 46. What? Wow, season two, number three. 46? 46 Holy in geez. total, that's right, since we began in uh, 2021. It seems like a long time. Maybe it's 2020 that we started. Yeah, that's I right. I think so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gene, Gene was gone for uh, five months in the summer. Extended vacation. <laughs> Well, it wasn't really a vacation, was it? No. Not but anyways, it's, uh, we're but here doing we are. fine. We're trying to, <coughs> trying to keep her moving along if I can. That's right. And Carol Gordon's out there to remind us that we're a little bit late. We're on island time. We're on island time, yes, Carol. That's right. Snap out of it. <laughs> <laughs> we snap into it. <laughs> snap out of it, snap into it. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd uh, try another theme of the working man's tuxedo I've got on the insulated coveralls today. Ah, yeah, a little warmer. You need them today. Oh, I do. It's damp today and it's, chilly. Uh, it's one of those days when, when the air is full of dampness and cold at the same time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It goes right into your bones. It does. Yeah, it yeah. Does. yeah. I didn't think I was going to be able to play my guitar today. I might not still be right. able to. Uh. My fingers were really cold. Oh, yeah, you need yeah, to yeah. dip them in hot soup or something. <laughs> yeah. uh, something to get the, the circulation going. Maybe it was, uh, what was that great mix we used to use? It wasn't cayenne, it was, um, what's the other red spice that's supposed to be good for your... Paprika? Paprika? Paprika, no, the other one. Um, cayenne? Uh, not cayenne. It'll come to us. Anyway. Red uh, hot chili pepper. Cur- not chili pepper. No, there's there's one more, one more. Can't think of it. Well, using all the good cures. Here we are. We got some action now. Who's out there? Tammy Blazer. Good to see you. Can't wait to hear you. John O'Flynn up the island. Here we go. Here we go. Tammy Blazer. Do you recognize that name? I I don't know. Tammy Blazer. It could be a code name, an online name. Could be. Yes. It'll come to you later. Maybe. I don't know many Tammies. No? Tammy, Tammy, Tammy's in love. You know, I hear the guy. Whatever the song was. Tammy's in love. Turmeric? Turmeric. That's the one. Thank you, Paul. Turmeric. Turmeric. Remember, we used to, you used to do that regularly. Yeah, yeah. And maybe we should get back to it. It's a good circulatory. Yeah, it is, actually. Yeah. For reviving after the... Massive heart work. You got to get the <laughs> vessels turmeric. going. They have a. There's actually a commercial on TV uh, advertising turmeric and right something else together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's like you got the souped-up engine now, but you got to you know the the lines <laughs> outward needs to be souped up too. They, the, 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 the yeah. <laughs> they need to be souped up also. I think so. Turmeric. Okay. Turmeric could be the answer. <laughs> So you've been working on your guitar a little bit, working your way up to it. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite different because, like I was saying, I I sing a lot differently, or, or I phrase, or I use my 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 breath a lot differently when I'm playing my guitar mm-hmm. than when I'm playing my gym bass. So right. So I've been messing around with my guitar. I don't know how, how it's going to be, but we'll That's give a, it a shot. That's a long time since you got it out of the box. Out of the bag. Yeah, it, like I, I took it back east with me during the summer. I didn't, after I had my operation, I actually didn't touch it for, until I got back here. Right. And it's been about five months, six months. Yeah, yeah, since that's I've a long time. Played. Yeah, it is actually. Mm-hmm. Especially for my voice and, and my guitar together. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll see what happens. It's. What'd you dig up? Is this one of yours you're going to play or a, a cover? No, this is um, this is a Tim Harden tune, and I thought might as well try something a little bit more difficult. <laughs> oh, sure, why not? And this is called this is one of Victoria's favorites. I remember this one, right? Yeah. And yours is um, a beautiful piece of wood. But a piece of wood. This yeah. is a beautiful song, isn't it? Yeah.
too lovely, oh, I say, to leave alone. Oh, you look to me now, now, like love forever. Oh, too good to last, but too lovely, oh, I say, not too dry. Flowers often cry, but you later find that their beauty has been lost in their peace of mind. If I believe on now in misty roses, oh, I'd forget the past. You're too lovely, oh, I say, to leave alone, leave Tim Harding uh, hail from? From the States. I think he was, I'm not sure, if, um, might have been from Oklahoma. Right. Maybe. Non, or Tennessee or someplace or yeah. someplace, I think. Yeah, I knew the name and that he uh, wrote lots of good songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very good writer. Uh, <laughs> Victoria made a comment on our being late. She said, perhaps we need some Victoria discipline. That sounds like bedroom talk, doesn't it? Ooh. <laughs> Does she uh, keep you in line when you're back in Ontario? No, don't I'm answer that. I'm not back in Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> uh, M. Theralt, looking great, Eugene. Tammy says uh, she's the lead singer in Hella Blue. Met you a few times on Gabriola. There oh, you go. Okay. And uh, Colleen Finley, you sound good, Eugene. So good. Love this song. Bill and Pat <coughs> are there. Very effective. Misty Roses never sounded so beautiful. Nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, well, you're getting uh, further. Oh, we also got uh, Erlen from, uh, well, he's from the, the Mexican band Los Rastrios, but oh, he's nice. in Argentina. Oh, really? yeah. Very nice. You remember him, right? Did you meet him? Yeah, yeah, I did. So. And he, he would come to the blues jams and stuff. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Hola, Erlen. He was living upstairs with you for a while. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's tuning in from Argentina? From Argentina, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Argentina to Holland to Gabriel. <laughs> rather exotic, rather exotic, eh? Yeah, Argentina, yeah. Nice. nice. Huh. It's been a while since he's been on there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah. They've not toured back. Well, our guest today, I think his third appearance. Toyed. Twice. The Thoid appearance. The Thoid appearance, that's right. Uh, Malachi is... 12 years old, going on 13, on the eve of teenagehood, <laughs> which is a big deal. It must be, you think, man, it's challenging to be a teenager in these tricky times, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's doable. 
I, I, I it think was of, for us. Well, we did, we got through it. <laughs> the main thing, right? The main thing, and with some good influences, you know, that helps. Uh, so this is uh, oh Malachi was saying he goes to Ecole Poirier. Is that right? How you say it? Ecole Mount Prevost. Ecole Mount Prevost. Darn it. Yeah, get that right. <laughs> uh, lovely school up on the hill. And uh, probably been very busy at school yeah, and school. playing and practicing and playing. Uh, come on up, Mel Malachi. <coughs> We're we ready go. for you. Kabam. And when was the last time you were on this stage? Uh, been recently? The toilet paper drive. Yes. Nice. That's always a popular one. And that was chock full this year, wasn't it? Big lineup. Yeah. Neat. You had fun? Yeah, lots. But that's quite a jump into January. Mm. Well, not. That's about regular. You, you figure if you get out and play at the showroom once a month, you're doing good? Yeah, it's a bit, been a bit, well, I mean, challenging to say the least. Right, right. With COVID. Yeah. Because, like, I haven't had an audience, really. Right, that's right. But, like, I remember last show there were a lot of people, but sometimes I remember, like, once or twice just playing to an empty room. Mm -hmm. Well, not empty. I mean, there was Tim, the Trevor. Doctor. Yes, the doctor. Oh, that's pretty empty. Ooh. And John. <laughs> well, careful now. <laughs> and my mom, obviously. Right, right. So at least some warm and supportive uh, bodies. But yeah, it's different, isn't it, than the feedback you get from live audience. And yeah. Yeah, kind of having to imagine that they're there. You know that they're out there in the internet land, but... Yeah, but, like, I know, like, some of my family, like, I remember, like, sometimes my grandma watches, mm -hmm. well, both of them. Right. And my aunt. Um, and some of my other family watches, but I... I it's just not the same seeing them out there. Yeah, that's right. You get that energy coming from the audience, and that, that helps to get you going even more. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And one of your grandmas just moved to Oak Bay. Have you been down to see her yet? James Bay. James Bay, sorry, not Oak Bay. Very fancy-looking digs. Yeah, I, I went there on Sunday. Oh, nice. It yeah. was, it's really nice. There's heated yeah. floors. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. <laughs> It's awesome. Oh, I remember being Eugene and I. Uh, I drove Eugene to a, a gig at the Black. Was it the Black Rock? Uh, Black Sheep. Black Sheep. No, it wasn't the Black Sheep. Black Rock <laughs> Lodge in Euclid. Yeah. And the tile floors in the bathroom were heated. It's like you could just, you just wanted to live in the bathroom. You know, big tub. You could have your meals in there, and it's very yeah, nice, it's, isn't it? It's cement heated floors. The there's whole certain floor. like, there's certain. There's certain there's certain parts that are cold, right? But there's certain like hot patches. Nice. And I just kind of just like walk over there and just gravitate stand to the hot there. patches. Yeah. <laughs> walk on the hot patches. <laughs> <laughs> and she's got a view of the ocean again, I guess, which is nice. Or near. No, walkable. Walkable. But yeah. uh, no, it's <clears throat> there's some windows, but it's not right. like a view of the ocean or anything. No. Still, nice neighborhood. Yes. Yeah. A lot of places to walk to. Oh, uh, good. good. Where is this again? James Bay. Oh, James Bay. Yeah. All right. Which is one of the furthest most bits of Victoria, isn't it? It's kind of like before you get into Dallas Road or, uh, yeah, nice area though. Well, what have you been cooking up for us this week? Well, the first song I have is a song that I wrote. Oh, nice. I wrote it because um, at school, my teacher, my music teacher, uh, Madame Williams, mm -hmm. um, she said that we were having a p project. And it didn't have to specifically be music, mm -hmm. even though it's music class. But you had to just do something, some sort of presentation, presentation for your passion. And of course, I mean, I choose music. I mean, what else would I choose? Right. This is, <laughs> um, uh. And like, I know some other people made like 
I know one of my friends made an animation. One of my friends filmed a little like sketch. Nice. Yeah. And um, well, I'm, I wrote this song. Oh, good stuff. I wrote it with a bit of help from my mom. Oh, lovely. I Your performed mom's a good it. Writer? That's right. Yes. And I performed it at the toilet paper drive, I think. Oh, good one. So. Now what's it called? It's called Find My Way Somehow. Nice. song. Thank you. What key is that one in, Malachi? Uh, like, well, A minor. A minor. Hmm. Contemplative. Nice. Yeah, it's got a lovely tone to it, doesn't it? You got to, uh, you got to play in a uh, soft seat theater right here. I, is that, is that I, I played in Nanaimo, yeah. I played at the Foy Theater. Yeah, how was that? It was great. Um, my friend and piano teacher, Nico Rhodes, he was doing a show um, at the Port Theater that's like a series of shows called Chapters. And I think he, I don't know if he already did it or if he's doing it this month. I, yeah, this Wednesday. Um, he's doing the third part of his Chapters series. And you can watch it online, so. I recommend watching it. It's good. And I got to play at the chapter two. And um, it was really great. It was a very different experience than like just playing at the show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, like, I was, in, I was invited by him, and he's like, OK, so do you want to do this show? And of course, I wouldn't turn it down. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't turn down this opportunity. So I, 
I was thinking about what songs I wanted to do, and I was listening to some Jacob Collier, which is great music, and so I just said to him, okay, I'd like to do Sleeping on My Dreams by Jacob Collier. It was a bit hard to do, because Jacob Collier is hard to do. <laughs> um, sadly, we couldn't fit the microtones in there, because you can't play them on a piano. But it would still turned out amazing. Everyone in the band did a great job, and I, I, I it was really fun doing uh, it. What size of band was it? Uh, there was a drummer, uh, two piano players, hmm. um, and a cellist. Oh, nice. And a guitarist. There was a guitar too? Yes, there was a guitar. Um, and. Backstage, there there was a green room. Like I've I've well, I mean, there's a green room here, but there were also dressing rooms. <laughs> I've never performed at a place, really, that also had dressing, dressing rooms. rooms. <laughs> well, I mean, I've gone to the Performing Arts Center, but that was for like a school band thing, yeah, yeah. and it wasn't like performing to like a public audience. Yeah. Well, I mean. Performing to the parents of the. How many people were in the audience? Did at, we have any? at the port, yeah, yeah, there was. I don't know the exact number, but I mean, there were a lot of people. Okay. Um, nice. Very nice. And one of my favorite parts about the green room was that there was, oh. there was Seven Up, <laughs> and there was super good cookies. Ooh, <laughs> that makes a difference. Yeah. yeah. M and M cookies. They we were so good. I guess we should get on that, eh? We should have some <laughs> baked goods for our guests. Yeah, yeah have stuff yeah. in the green room. Let's get John on it. John could bake. That's right. <laughs> He's always receiving the baking. It's time that Long John learned to bake. Cookies. Right. Do you hear that, John? Cookies. <laughs> Cookies, John. <laughs> Cookies. <laughs> Do it. I think he could pull it off. Yeah. Well, how are the uh, the reception staff, like the, the host and the sound guy, were they as... You know, uh, interesting and welcoming as Tim. Longevity yeah. John and Dr. Tim. <laughs> well, I I think <clears throat> it was it was really good. All the people there were great. Yeah. But I mean, it's it's <laughs> but it's just a bit of a <laughs> it's just a bit of a it's just a, a bit of a different experience. Like it over is. here, it's. It's kind of like well, you just feel like you're at it home. feels more yeah, yeah like you feel like you're at home it's not yeah. it's not as professional it's more it's more casual <laughs> it's casual, casual professional. professional casual yeah, professional that's right not pro not like <laughs> not in a bad way but it's it's nice it's cozy and there's there, like if it, during like breaks I mean there's tons of stuff to look at that's there's no cookies or milk interesting. Or, but or ginger there, yeah that's <laughs> I think, like, but I mean, they do have pop. Oh yeah, there's we've pop got here. we've got pop. That's right, and there's but very there's interesting, no cookies. Interesting no cookies. museum. There's no M and M cookies. Were you the only <coughs> performer that, uh, at the at the theater? Oh no, no. That night, or was it? No. That? Um. Well, there were a lot of them. There oh, were, I see. Okay. First up was. Oh gosh, I'm already forgetting. Um, poet, there was a poet right before me. Um, and then before that was some dancing. Then before that, I think, was two singers. So it was a variety show. Yeah. More than nice. nice. Well, and maybe then we should get Billy up there. Before oh. that, there was <laughs> Kyle from The Big Mess, who's played here a few times. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it, it was great. Nice. It was, it was awesome. Well, thank you for letting me put you on the spot with that question. I did hear some grumbling from the cl from clouds there. That must have been John. <laughs> yeah. It must have been John uh, pitching in there. Just but being like, uh, no, we, I will not bake cookies. We know how much you love this place, and it is like your uh, second home. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? Oh, the, uh, the, uh, oh, now I've lost it. Oh, I was going to say, you, you're getting to that age now, teenager, where you may one, ha one day have to follow someone younger than you. 
It's always daunting to follow a young person or a, a magician or a dog act. Some, some things are harder to follow than others. So you might one day have that experience where some talented nine-year-old comes on and there you'll be. You started when you were eight, didn't you? Seven. Seven. Oh, sorry, yeah. So you've been coming here that long. Yeah, for f almost six years. That's amazing, yeah. Uh, this Halloween, it'll be six years. Nice. And we just like to say that Longevity John and Dr. Ted Cadillac and Trevor, three of the best mentors you could ever want to have, yeah, that's for sure. I'm thankful for that. Yes, yes. Well, uh, Gene's getting the drum ready. Are you going to let him play djembe with you on this one? Yeah, I, I you, think it'll be Did you Did you check him out? He seems all right? Let him in the band, so to speak? <laughs> I, I've never played this song live. Okay. I just... My mom suggested it a long time ago, and I was like, okay, sometime I will. And now I'm just like, this would work well for this show. Good. This was um, the secret cover that you weren't going to tell us about. but <laughs> Nice. Well, I mean, I don't know if I really have to say what it is. I mean, I can just do this. And oh, I think it, I got it. That gives you a hint. <laughs> and hmm? I... Are you there? This is a challenging song, as you say, but a good one, isn't it? Do it again. Oh, Stevie Wonder. There you go. He needed the second note, see? <laughs> <laughs> Superstition. Nice. Well, take her yeah. away. <laughs> So 
percussionist he sounds almost professional he's had some practice well that's so nice of you to cover Stevie Wonder I uh, I saw a clip of him from a few years ago and uh, he was at a huge gala like just a huge hall and he comes on and he's supposed to be doing this uh, just one song and the electric piano was broken or it wasn't working and uh, luckily it was sitting on top of a grand piano and uh, he just starts to make up a song about the broken electric piano. It's just like getting it, it's broken, <laughs> ah, it's broken. And he, you know, this whole story song about the, the broken piano. What a beautiful man. <clears throat> yeah. Well, they say uh, Stevie Wonder when he was um, 14, when he came up, was it 12 or 14? So I think he was 12 or 14 when he came up with fingertips. Really? 12 or 14? Yeah, yeah. Wow. When they had part one and part two. Right. <laughs> part one was vocal, and yeah. the other part was uh, just him playing the harmonica. Wow. Uh, part two. Yeah. And uh, they said that when um, they were recording, when all the bands were recording in Motown, he was always there. Right. He was always in the studio playing his, his keyboards, you know, mm -hmm. and, and doing mm -hmm. some learning, you know. Right, yeah. So, with the Funk Brothers. Oh, wow. Wow, that's yeah, a good, yeah, yeah. good learning ground, eh? Is that they couldn't get rid of him? He was. With, it didn't matter who it was that was recording. He'd be in the studio, <laughs> even if he, he wasn't even asked. He'd just be there. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Duncan Showroom is your Motown, Malachi. <laughs> Good learning ground. Uh, Carol Gordon says, "Lovely to see you and hear you play again, Malachi." Don Wilkie, who was our guest last week, has a great cookie recipe for us. Oh! <laughs> so we got to get on that. We'll make sure we can set John up with a stove <laughs> and some cookie sheets. Uh, Victoria Slager, great vocal and musical control, Malachi. Colleen Finley, so happy to see you, and the guitar, too. Eugene and his guitar are back. Well, oh, the guitar, yeah. Oh, gosh. Are you still taking uh, guitar lessons with Ray as well? Yes, I am. Nice. He's a good man. Nice fella. We had, some, uh, we had him uh, early on, well, maybe midway through, and he's kind of quiet. He's subtle, isn't he? But he's got that uh, sly sense of humor that comes through. Yeah, you have to really listen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, he's funny, isn't he? Yeah, nice yeah. fella. And the, uh, now your piano lessons are, where do you take them with Mr. Rhodes? Uh, sometimes it's online on Zoom. Yeah. yeah. And then sometimes if he's like going to Victoria for something, he sometimes stops by in Duncan. Right. To do an in-person lesson, which oh, is nice. always great. Yeah, yeah. Is he, no, he's living in Nanaimo. Does he teach at the, at Mal Spina, or at the uh, university? Nope, just private private lessons and his own music career, of course. Yeah. How is it on Zoom doing a lesson? Well, I mean, it's it's good. I learn things, but mm -hmm. I mean it's it's better in person. Yeah. Much mm -hmm. better in person. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm As are most things. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Eugene, what do you got to say about that? What, being in person? Well, sure. Well, I'm glad I'm back in uh, person. We're glad you're back in person. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
thank you so much for coming, Malachi. And uh, we're looking forward to what are you going to do on your birthday? End of March, 13. Uh-huh. Not sure yet? Now, you and mom will cook up something, and the family will be celebrating you. And you maybe play down here on your birthday? Around yeah. your birthday? Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Good stuff. Uh, before that, you've got something lined up, though. What's your next next gig? I am going to be doing the Willie P. Bennett Oh, of course. Tribute thing. Nice. I'm going to be playing two songs. Good. And uh, I'm also going to do the Rain Festival. Nice. Coming up soon. What's the dates on the Rain Festival, Doctor? February. It's in February. That's yes, right. I think I'm I'm doing it on the family day. Oh, nice. No, that's a great thing. Well, I better get to work on my Willie P. Bennett spoken word uh, presentation. John bugged me about that last year. I didn't get it together. So, get to work, as they what say. What do you do? Well, I just do his songs, but as a as a story, like a spoken oh, okay. word piece. Okay. Yeah, because they they work very well that way. Yeah, yeah. In a character or something. You know, yeah, yeah. Character. But Would you have a different outfit on? I might. Ooh, <laughs> it might. It might not be the working man tuxedo. Okay. <laughs> Would you like me to dress up next week? Maybe I should. It's a jazz player next week, so we should have a shirt on. Uh, yes, we have uh, Jan Sterling coming right. in. Nice. And oh. um, she may be with uh, Jeremy Sager. Oh, that'd be exciting. Yeah, the bass player. Neat. That'd be fun. So they might, the two of them might be, or she just might do it on her own. I'm not sure. Right, right, good. But and I, she's from Brantford, Ontario, as well. Yes, that's, that's what right. I've been told. Ah, amazing. Oh, there he is. The big fellow's down, down from the sky. <coughs> okay. I just figured out uh, that the rain fest is February 18th to March 5th. That's right, the rain no, fest. March 27th. March 27th. No, <coughs> February 27th. Oh, okay. February 27th to March 5th. Ten days. Ten days of the rain fest. That's February 18th, right. February 27th. Does it have to rain? No, it doesn't matter. I hope it does. <laughs> we can duplicate rain. We've got lots of volunteer fire trucks. Mm-hmm. But you can check the schedule on our showroomproductions.ca uh, site, website. It's, we've got a full calendar there of all the events that are going on. So nice. Always. Good. <clears throat> okay, you going to take us home? Yeah, I will. I'll try and... Um, Try and uh, do something else here, and then. Are oh, you gonna do another piece before you? Yeah, say that's uh, okay. well, that's that was the idea, wasn't it? Well, that was new actually. You threw that in last week. Well, I wasn't supposed to do that. Last no, no, week. that was fun. We wouldn't never tell you not to. <laughs> okay. We're willing to go with it. Okay, I'd like to try. Uh, tune by uh, Steve Forbert. Ah, buildings and people down under the skies. I walk along looking up through my eyes. Getting so skinny hurts to sit down. I'm deep in a well. I'm in the right track of town. It's dirty for dirty. Nine for nine. Tooth for a tooth and a sigh for a sigh. Everything's edgy. Like musical chairs, everyone's looking, but who really cares? Well, I'm trying to get up, trying to laugh in my head. I'm walking on eggs and I'm climbing on thread. There's motors in traffic, racking and horns. My weary old stairway is wobbly and worn. So I can't take a pee. 
I'm supposed to be happy. I'm here where it's at. I'm a face in a crowd. I'm a big city cat. Sweet. <laughs> good one, good one. You know, I was just thinking while you're playing that that as the hair comes in, it'll sort of be an aerial show too going an on. An aerial. When you're playing. Well, a little. I should have some little budgie birds, and they could do something going something on. Something going. Yeah. Support well, the wildlife. Kind support of the theme. wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Eugene. giving them a, a place to live. Nesting for Eugene. That's Nesting right. for Eugene. Yes. <laughs> well, Victoria is uh, suggesting that I not only dress up, but I wear. A wig and a skirt and some sequins. There you go. So, yeah, next week. There you go. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, thank you again for the great entertainment from Carol Gordon. Nice. Uh, well, you guys have done well today. Thanks for coming again, Malachi. And best of luck coming up in your 13th year. Uh, will this be your last year at uh, Mount Provo? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah. Okay. It goes up to grade seven. And seven. I'm grade seven. And then where we go next year? Do you think? Uh, yeah, Quam, I think. Oh, yeah. is that now again a middle school? Junior high. It's a junior. Junior high, high they're calling. It. Okay, right. Because you wouldn't want to just jump right into. Uh, hopefully, by the time you get to Cal High, it'll be a new school. Yeah, that's that's what it's supposed to. That's what's supposed to happen, but. Right. Hope it doesn't get like postponed or anything, like the building of the new school. You hope not. I think they're they said they broke ground this year. Whatever that meant, they moved some buildings around, and uh, two years that should give them time. We, we'll cross our fingers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd like to thank everybody for coming in tonight. Mm -hmm. Thank you, 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 thank you. <laughs> All the people that tuned into the show this evening, appreciate it. And uh, next week we have uh, Jan Sterling. Right. A little jazz for everybody. She has uh, some tunes where she uh, she's written herself. Nice. Or she might do some cover jazz, you know, mm -hmm. you never know. Mm. And so we'll see what happens. And like from Brantford, Ontario originally. How classy. <laughs> One of the classiest of Ontario towns. Well, that's because you're from there, Bill. Well, I wasn't born there, but I was raised up there. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Say goodnight, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Well, goodnight, everybody. Good night, everybody. Hope you had a good time. Well, good night, everybody. Hope, hope you had a good time. Well, come on back next week. What'll be sublime? Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Well, good 
Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Malachi. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night to Dr. Ted, Longevity John, and Lisa. Thank you. And all the fans out there. Good night. And all the fans. All the fans.